But I'm back, so tune into today's video. This time we will dive into these five settings that really deserves your attention on your phone right now to safeguard your privacy and your security too. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button to watch more content like this. When bad guys steal your phone including the SIM card or somehow learn about your phone number, your phone data is always safe considering that you have set up security on the lock screen, but they can still steal your accounts like WhatsApp, Google and so on. That's why, first we need to prevent attackers from reading your OTP code, which solely relies on your phone number. First, we must disable call forwarding, check if it's on by dialing stars 21 star hash. You can deactivate call forwarding on your phone by dialing star hash hash 002 hash star. Or you can also do this by going into your phone's call settings, then tapping on carrier call settings option and then disable always forward feature. The next thing you need to do is disable the lock screen notifications display of sensitive information including text messages or SMS. To do that, Go to your phone settings and then tap on notifications, then tap lock screen notifications and then tap on hide content. The next privacy feature that needs to be disabled is Google's web and app activity. Information about your activities such as web browser, your contacts, apps and also your location with the IP address all from your phone is stored in your Google account. To remove your online footprint from these Google apps, head over to Google in your phone settings and then tap on manage your Google account. Then tap on data and privacy. After scrolling down a bit, you will see web and app activity. Just tap on it. And then turn it off or you can even choose to delete all your web activities. In the final step, tap on OK to completely disable web and app activity. Now we are going to do the same with location history and turn it off. Or you can also choose to delete all the locations you have visited from your Google account. If you want Google to automatically delete all of the activities, you can choose time period. In my case, I choose to delete all activities after 3 months. And that's it, you're done. Our next privacy feature is much likely related to security and this can cause panic to bad guys who are looking to steal your phone. So we are going to disable power button features such as restarting and power off right from the lock screen. To do this, tap on lock screen from settings and then set up type of the screen lock you want such as pin, password or pattern which in my case it is type pin. Then after the screen lock is set up we will tap on secure lock settings and turn on auto factory reset and also lock network and security. This will prevent bad guys from powering off or restarting your phone and on 20 incorrect attempts on lock screen the phone will factory reset. As we can see in the demonstration, when we try to power a phone from lock screen, the phone will ask you to enter your password or PIN code in order to power off or restart the device. As of now, this feature is only available on Android 13 devices, so make sure your device is up to date. Most of the dangerous privacy settings that are overlooked by users to value convenience and really needs your attention happen to be from your phone's default Google Apps. To reduce your unnecessary online exposure, we will first disable Digital Wellbeing, which happens to be sitting in the menu of your phone's first setting page. To disable it, open the app from the settings, click on three dots on the upper right corner and tap on deny usage access then tap on settings and then turn off digital well-being and when you go back into app you will see the app shows no data next we will open google chrome and go to privacy and security from the google chrome settings 
and turn on always use secure connections and turn off access payment methods next tap on do not track and turn on do not track after that tap on safe browsing and tap on enhanced protection by doing this you have made your online browsing really secure the last thing to disable go to your phone setting again and search for device assistance and then tap on device assistance app tap none this will stop any sensitive information from going into any of these apps in the final step we are going to disable your phone's ability to send telemetry data collected by the smartphone's manufacturer using all of your device sensors and also ads subsequently analyzing your data and then using it to make better phones in the future to disable this on android 9 and 11 devices head over to privacy in your phone setting and turn off join user experience program turn off system stability improvement program Turn on limit ad tracking from device ID and ads. And then turn off usage and diagnostics from advanced settings. This will turn off transmission of all telemetry data from your smartphone. On Android version 13, go to security and privacy. Tap on privacy and then other privacy settings. Turn off send diagnostic data. Last but not least, tap on Usage and Diagnostics and make sure it's turned off. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you for watching.